All right, what is going on, everybody? My name is Brian. You guys can call me Mr. Creations, and here we are. That's right. This is some Titanfall gameplay you're watching in the background. I actually got nine pilot kills and only died twice. Now, that doesn't sound very impressive, but you guys got to remember there's also Titans in the map as well as Grunts and Spectres. And I did get uh, 78 minion kills or bot kills, which doesn't sound impressive to get kills on bots, but 78 bot kills in this game is pretty impressive, not going to lie. It's pretty hard to find that many bots in the map. But anyways, you guys don't really care about the gameplay. Today is obviously Movie Monday, so let's get right into that. Now, the movie I went and saw this past Saturday is actually called Sex Tape. Now, it was rated R, just giving you guys a rating I do on every film, just letting you know. Um, it was called Sex Tape, obviously. It had the main actors, Cameron Diaz and Jason Segel in it. Obviously, we know Cameron Diaz from Bad Teacher, The Holiday, a lot of films she's been in, and Jason Segel. At least the one TV show I know that he was in was How I Met Your Mother. So both, to me personally, I think they're both grade A actors. They're very good actors. And uh, at the end of this commentary, I'm going to give my you know scaling of a 1 to 10 on this, on this movie. And 1 being bad and 10 being very good. So anyways, moving on. I'm going to get the useless uh, kind of subjects on the movie out of the way because this was a comedy and it was you know shot in a civilian type of life it wasn't in a war zone it wasn't an action movie it was just a normal comedy costume design didn't really matter it was an 8 out of 10 you know they couldn't do i couldn't see how you could screw up you know civilian costumes not hard to do so uh that's kind of out of the way as well as cinematography you know not a huge thing because it's not an action film so that doesn't really matter uh, there's a big difference between cinematography in, in this movie, Sex Tape, and Transformers. I mean, obviously cinematography and costume design matters a lot more in action films. Because this was a, you know, a popcorn summer film comedy, it doesn't really matter. But that would be another 8 out of 10. You know, couldn't really screw that up. So those two things are out of the way. But the next thing I want to talk about is going to be the originality of the film and the idea and the basis of the film. So basically what the movie's about, if you guys don't know... Is about Cameron Diaz and Jason Segel are both husband and wife. They have two kids, and their sex life is kind of gotten boring, and they don't have sex very often. So they decide to, or Cameron Diaz decides to send her two kids to her mom's house for the night to sleep over, so her and her husband can have sex. And they're having a hard time having sex because they hadn't had it in so long. So what they decide to do to spice things up was record themselves having sex, basically making a porno. And uh, after they do that. You know, she tells him to remember to delete the video. So instead of him deleting the video, he accidentally sends it onto the cloud. And uh, basically, you know, that goes to anybody he's ever been affiliated with that he's given his cloud information out to or friends or family, anything like that. So all these people have this sex tape. Some have seen it, some haven't. That's basically what the film's about. And they're trying to, you know, get all the devices out of their friends and family's homes and things like that before it gets on the internet. So that's basically what the movie's about about without giving anything away there's no spoiler alerts in my movie monday series i hate to do that because these films are still in in uh in the movie theater and i wouldn't want to ruin them for some of you guys that are seeing them but anyways moving on so uh screenwriting in this film was pretty bad to be honest with you guys the actors are amazing actors but they didn't act as well as they could have in my opinion because of the screenwriters i don't think this movie was supposed to be a comedy and it was and it was funny at times but these actors are great actors, and they could have been a lot more funny in this film, but I feel like the lines that the screenwriters had given them weren't very good. They weren't very funny. There were a lot of great actors in this film, and I've seen them in other movies like Cameron Diaz and Bad Teacher. She was hilarious in that movie, but she wasn't that funny in this one because, I, again, I'm putting the blame on the screenwriters and the director. That's their job to give them amazing lines and tell them how to act, so... That's my opinion on that. The acting, you know, obviously goes down because of the screenwriting. So the acting and screenwriters both actually get a 5 out of 10 on both of those subjects. Not too good of a rating in my opinion because it was just all. I think it could have been way more funny. So the comedy in this film was actually a 6.5 out of 10 because the actors still had some funny lines in this film. And there were some funny moments. But to be honest with you guys... I know the movie was called Sex Tape, but there was a lot of sex scenes in the movie that they probably could have done without. And keep in mind, guys, this is coming from an 18-year-old guy. I mean, of course, every guy likes to see, you know, some boobies or butt action. But uh, 
I felt like it was almost too much, and they were, you know, trying to ride off the coattails of nudity instead of, uh, instead of actual storyline. That's just my opinion. Uh, basically, all in all, I'm gonna give this movie a 6 out of 10. It's a popcorn summer film. I feel like the director and actors, you know, rushed the production on this movie. I don't know how long it took for them to to record this film, but it feels like it was rushed. It was a popcorn summer film. They were just trying to make a quick buck off of it. That's kind of how I felt after the end of that film. So personally, I wouldn't go and see this film a second time. I'm not going to buy it on DVD. I recommend you guys don't see it, but if you feel like it, you know, disregard my information. You don't have to do what I tell you to. It's your guys' decision. If you want to go see that movie, go right ahead. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it, but hopefully this was an insightful uh, movie review. I don't like to tell you guys that movies are bad because I want you guys to go see these films, but if I honestly don't enjoy the movie, I'm not going to tell you guys it's really good because it's not. And uh, that's not how I do things. I'm not sponsored by any of these films to give good reviews. Obviously, I kind of smashed on this film, and uh, it, it deserved it. It really wasn't as good as I thought it could be. But hopefully next week, I'm looking forward to seeing Hercules with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I'm looking forward to that. I heard it's a pretty good film, and uh, that's probably what I will be bringing you guys next movie Monday. So hopefully you look forward to that. And uh, I will see you guys in my video tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by, everyone.